Nothing's ever going to change that. Don't so say why you won't they do listen that. to me? You Nobody ever asked me. Who you tell why. Hey! What are you doing here? What am I supposed to do here? I'm drinking. But if you mean, what do I do all day? I arrange fights. You arrange fights? Every day, from noon until evening. Behind the warehouse in the harbor district. Home sweet home. What are the rules for the fight? Quite simple. All regular weapons are allowed. No bows or crossbows. And no magic. We fight until one of us drops. And as soon as one of us is flat on his back, it's over. Got it? Whoever leaves the <laughs> ring is out. So if you quit, I win. The stake is 50 gold coins. If you win, you get 100 back. If not, well, then your money is down the drain. Got it? Yep. You live behind the warehouse? It's only temporary. When you have as much gold as I do, you can afford a little luxury. I was a drill instructor in the army, but I left that bunch to seek my fortune in adventure. Now I've wound up in this shithole. My last 100 gold pieces went to the guards at the city gate. So, I'm seeing to it that I come into money again. I even had to sell my sword. To whom did you sell the sword? I swapped it with a trader in the marketplace for some stuff. The guy's called Jora. The torches and the bit of meat that he gave me are long used up. He isn't likely to give me the sword for nothing. It's an old sword. He won't want much for it. Just think of the money as an extra stake for the fight. What do you know about the war against the orcs? There's not much to tell. The war has been going on for too long. The country people are starving. Everywhere there are peasant revolts that are put down mercilessly by the king. But there's just too many of them. If the war doesn't end soon, the realm will fall apart. Can you train me? If you really want to learn how to fight, then go up against me. <laughs> the lesson is no extra charge. I want to fight against you. I only fight from noon until evening. The fighting is only worth it if there are enough spectators who place bets. It's much too late now. Come back tomorrow at noon. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every piece of information I give you will cost 10 gold pieces. All right, agreed. You struck a good bargain. I'm always at your service. I need information. Who counts among the influential citizens in this town? You won't find anyone down here at the harbor. The only powerful man here is Lamar. The moneylender is not very popular, but he has gold, and other influential citizens owe him money. The merchants and craftsmen also have a lot of influence. Too much, if you ask me. Who's in debt to Lamar? <laughs> if you want to know that, you should take a look in his ledger. Only it might be pretty difficult to do that without him noticing. As far as I know, he always carries it with him. Where can I find work? You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. You need to go to the craftsmen in the lower part of town for that. But if you wield a decent blade, you could go challenge Ulrich. He fights for gold behind the warehouse. What do you know about the missing citizens? All I know is that some people have vanished during the last few days. It's especially bad down here at the harbor, they say. Maybe you should ask around here a bit. There were some cases in the lower part of the city, too. If you want to know more, you should talk to Corrigan. He has his tavern in the lower part of town, and he's likely to hear a thing or two. Halvor, the fish merchant down by the quay, might know something, too. Many people frequent him. Who can teach me something here? There are a few competent people here in the harbor district. Carl the blacksmith is a sturdy fellow. I'll bet he can show you how to get stronger. Alric knows a lot about fighting. 
and Laris is a cunning rogue. He's down here at the harbor sometimes as well. And if you're crazy enough to go see old Ignaz, he knows all about Al Almich potions. Where can I find all these people? Oh, boy. The king will have won his war against the orcs before I've done explaining that to you. Just look around the harbor district and you're bound to find them. And if you don't know your way about, go to Braham and buy yourself a map. He's easy to find. His hut is right next to my tavern. I should have tried double for that one. Is there any special work to be had around here where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Hmm. Go talk to Nagur then. Maybe he can help you. Got anything special for me to do? I've got something for you, but that should only interest you if you're a man of versatile talents. What have you got? Well, Zorus, the potion vendor in the marketplace, currently has a guest, Darren the Fire Magician. And? He had a new chest made specially for him by Thorben the Carpenter. They say that this Darren has bought a bunch of valuable stuff with him, but you didn't hear that from me, understand? Hey! Cardiff says you may have a job for me. Well, well. So you're looking for a special job. Okay. But we play by my rules, understood? What does that mean? That means you do what I say and you get a third of the profits. If you don't like it, then there's no job. All right, you're the boss. Good. Then let me know when you're ready to rake in a heap of gold. All right, what's your plan? You know the merchant Baltram, don't you? If not, it's time you talk to him. This Baltram has a messenger who supplies him with goods from Akil's farm. That is, he had a messenger. Until I cut his throat. And now Baltram has to get a new one. And that will be you. Your job is to get hired by Baltram and fetch the delivery from Akil. You bring it to me, and then I'll set it on to an interested customer. He'll fork over a tidy little sum for it. And just don't try selling the stuff yourself. Have you got all that? How much will the profit be? I can't say exactly, but I estimate around 400 gold pieces. Where is Akil's farm? Leave the city by the east gate. That's directly on the marketplace. If you follow the road to the right, you'll soon come to a few steps cut into the rock. Go up there, and you'll come to Akil's farm. When should I talk to Baltram? You can go right away. He should know by now that his messenger won't be showing up anymore. <laughs> Where can I find Baltram? He has his stall in the marketplace. Well then, I'm all set. Good. Then get in your way. But if you try to cheat me, you'll soon be every bit as dead as the messenger. Don't forget. I've heard a thing or two. Hey, I don't know you. I could have told you that. What do you want here? Are you headed for the tavern? I don't believe this is going to change. Yes, do you mind? You've got That's no business here, Runt. That was quite Calm obvious. down. All I want to do is drink a beer. Okay, but it'll cost you 50 gold pieces to get in. <laughs> Why get so worked up? All right, I'll pay. Some problem Great. And since this went so well, now you can give me the rest of what you got on you. Why haven't I heard about this before? Okay, this is all I have. All right, that's enough then. Nobody ever asks me. Ever generous, that's me. <laughs> I knew that would be a problem. You have to feel strong. Just you. Oh! Don't yeah, stop that's now. The ticket. Finish yeah, him. That's the ticket. Ah! Ah! Don't ah, stop boy. now. Ah! Finish yeah, him. That's the ticket. Ah! Not bad at all. Do you really think? 
got my own opinion about that. Nothing's ever gonna change that. I've got my own opinion about that. That's no secret. Are you the one who runs this place? I am Bromo, this is my house, and these are my girls. I like my girls. And if you like my girls too, then you'll pay for it. 50 gold pieces. And don't get the idea of making trouble here. Are all your girls accounted for? Of course they are. Or do you think I want to go to jail over something like that? Uh, I wasn't asking about your payroll. I mean, are they all present? Or have any gone missing? Oh yeah. Actually, one of my girls has up and left. Her name's Lucia. I reported it to the militia too, but they claim they haven't found a trace of her yet. Who says things like that? Who said that? How long has Lucia been missing? Several days. I don't know exactly how long. I assume she ran off with one of her suitors, eh? That bitch made off with part of my savings, a really valuable golden dish, eh? If I get out of her, I'll give her what for. So how is that any business of yours, huh? Do you want to have fun or not? Really, how interesting. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. Hey, I can't take care of you now, baby. Talk to Bromar if you want to have some fun. I just want to ask you a few questions about those missing people. I could tell you a thing or two, but not here, honey. Then let's go upstairs. Fine, but you get it settled with Bromar first. I don't want any trouble. Now that's typical. I want to have some fun. Fine. <laughs> You're not likely to forget the next few hours of your life anytime soon. Go upstairs with Nadja then. Have fun. Let's go upstairs. Today's your lucky day, baby. Let's go. Hey, what are you standing around for out here? Go on in and meet our passionate Nadja. This hot creature of the night will give your life a new meaning. No one really wants to hear that. Not what my husband thinks. Tell me that isn't true. Hey, what's up? Man, I'm busy. Leave me alone. Hey, you. I'm busy. Tell me that isn't true. He simply talks too much. So can we talk now? We've got enough privacy up here. Bromar doesn't like to see us talk to guests during work if there's nothing in it for him. So you want to know more about the people who disappeared down here at the harbor, do you? I don't know whether I can help you much, but at least I can tell you what became of Lucia. Tell me about Lucia. Nobody here is too sorry that she's gone. Why? I don't think there was anyone here whom she didn't try to use. She was a real bitch. Where did she disappear to? She used to see a lot of Elverich, the apprentice of Thorbin, the carpenter from the lower part of town. I bet she's up and left with that young man. Where could the two of them have gone? If the wolves didn't need them, I suppose they went to stay with the farmers. Where else would they go? What else do you know? I've heard many stories about people who disappeared down here at the harbor, but I'm not so sure whether I should believe them. You should have a chat with the merchants down here. That's all I can tell you, alas. That's now, insane. what about the two of us, sweetie? You paid for it, after all. No Wouldn't you like to have a little fun before you leave? I can't take care of everything for everybody. Uh, thanks, but I've got to go now. I've Too bad. To well, like maybe next time. I don't believe that. Nobody wants to know. That's what I've heard a thing or two. And he works all day, too. Hey, do you need fish? You Get your fish here, fresh from the depths of the sea. Can you tell me something about those missing people? Missing people? This is a harbor, pal. 
Things like that are bound to happen. The sea is treacherous and bound to claim a life now and then. Captains of large vessels will always sign on new sailors in a large seaport such as Corinis to complete their crews. And if they don't find any volunteers, some people may get dragged off against their will, and then they're gone. Are you missing someone? Me? No. Do you know of anyone who's gone missing? No idea. Ask the shipbuilders. What ship would that have been? Good question. Not many ships have come into Corinus lately. That is true. Uh, you don't have to ask me that. Same old thing all he didn't get that for me. My opinion. I'd have done it differently. The path of virtue to is long and rocky. I'm staying out. Of That's all just gossip. Hey, you. You have no business up here. He Only really paladins and those of us in the militia have access here. Someone's gotta pay for that. What's up here, then? This is the provisions store of the Royal Guard of the Paladins. I, couldn't care about I am the provisions here. master here, and I'm responsible for seeing to it that none of the paladin stuff goes something. astray, and you're not wanted here. So keep your hands to yourself, or I'll chop them off. I've got no time for things like that. Yeah. All the crates still there? Will learn Don't touch you. anything or I'll call the watch. Got it? All those who recognize his wisdom. Can you Never sell me any of the paladin stuff? From you want to buy? Hmm. Let's thing. say that if you could compensate me for the trouble that will arise from the paladin's things wandering off, then we might be able to do business. Does that happen often? Things going astray? As long as the provisions master says that everything is right, no. I see. Been there, done that. You know, steals out Laris sent me. He said you could help me. So, he did. Then fire away. What do you want from me? I want to join the militia. <laughs> oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? We don't just take on ragbags like you for no good reason. You'd probably have to. Spare me the drivel. Tell me what I have to do to join you. Okay. Then pay attention. The job of the provisions master is hell, let me tell you. Managing all the crates and sacks in this place is bad enough. But every time I spend an evening in Cardiff's tavern, someone busies himself with the crates here, and when I come back the next morning, something is missing. Strangely enough, the paladins never see anything. I'm going crazy. I can't spend the entire night standing around here like an idiot. You, on the other hand... I get it. I'm supposed to keep watch here while you hang around in the tavern. Take it or leave it. I'll watch over your provisions crates tonight. Sweet. Good. Then come back tonight and keep an eye on the stuff here. In the meantime, I'll be in Cardiff's tavern. That's no secret. That's no secret. Nothing You're looking for the man who is selling weapons to the bandits? Says who? Says Vatras. Oh. No idea. What do you know about it? Not much, but I could find out more. Ah. Is that so? It was his decision, wasn't it? Tell me, what do you know about the weapons dealer? Listen, we know that an influential citizen in the upper quarter must be behind it. And some of the weapons are even supposed to have come from the militia's supplies. We still don't know exactly who's behind it. If you have enough guts to take on a group of at least five bandits, maybe you can find out. What about the bandits? We know that the bandits are currently blockading the roads that connect the farmers to the city. Besides that, I know that there must have been a weapons delivery in the last few days. Maybe some clues to uncover the weapons dealer could be found with the bandits. What do you have to offer? Then pay attention. It was his decision. Justice will prevail in the end. If he doesn't see that, I will never change. You should really have known better. Nobody will learn no, anything should really from have known me. Better. It was his decision. Is it really true? 
he would have never thought been that there, himself. Done that. Been there, done That's that. That's really not my problem. That's all just no, gossip. No, deals out fair punishment. You're a fisherman? Now how did you ever guess that? Can't you simply leave me alone? Don't take it personally, but I haven't been too happy lately. It's that militia. Trouble with the militia? Those bastards keep coming here and taking whatever they want. Last week, they made off with my entire catch. It's for a good cause, they said. I know that everybody's got to fend for himself since the farmers have stopped trading. And, of course, sometimes people just go hungry. Small wonder that they're snatching the fish from right under my nose. But if they keep doing this, I won't even have enough to feed myself. Have you talked to the paladins about this? <laughs> Are you joking? Do you really think they'd be interested if a poor devil like me has his problems with the militia? Maybe I can help you. I don't know. I suppose you'd have to know somebody from the militia who has connections to the paladins. The paladins will hardly buy the fish from me. I shall see what I can do. Can you tell me something about the missing people? My friend William started hanging out with a bunch of shady characters. And where did it get him? One day, he simply didn't show up for work. And that's the last we saw of him. Your buddy William has disappeared? So he has. He's a fisherman, but a little too big for his boots, I should add. He should have stayed well away from that bunch. When did you last see him? Only a few days ago. Maybe he just went out to sea to fish. That's not very likely. His boat is still moored in the harbor. What bastards would those be? I don't know who they are or what their business is here in Corinus. I only know the place where they met up with William. I just happened to see William there when I was fishing in the bay. Where exactly is that meeting place? There's a bay opposite the harbor, north of here. You can only reach it by boat or swim. There's a beach there, and a small fishing camp. That's where I saw them. What's he been up to? William had some shady dealings with those crooks. I think it was all about contraband that he sold to the bastards. He'll surface again. I don't think so. He's been gone for too long already. I'm afraid that I'll be dragging his body from the sea at some point. I think I've heard enough. Spare yourself the effort. I don't believe you'll find him. So, how are the fish biting? I've seen better times. Too little to live on, too much to die. Hey! Tharam the fisherman has problems with the militia. The boys are constantly stealing from him. And what do I have to do with it? You have a certain amount of influence up here with the paladins. Tharam needs your protection. He's willing to give you a part of his catch for it. I see what you mean. Fish. As if I didn't have enough crap to deal with. Tell your pal he should come to me and tell me exactly what's up with the militia. I'll take care of it. Really not the path of virtue is long and rocky. 
I know how to resolve your trouble with the militia. And how would that be? Martin, the provisions master of the paladins, wants to hear your story about the militia and the fish. And you think he can make the militia leave me alone? At least that's what he said. Great, thank you. I cannot give you much, but wait. I found this strange blue stone on one of the islands off the coast of Corinus. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but someone like you will certainly find a use for it. I could tell you. For that is the will of Inos. You can't that rely on I'm not telling you anything new. You, you have to feel sorry for the man. had to happen sooner or later. He'd better shut up. I don't know why he gets so worked up. Let him never change. All right, all right, you win. What do you want? These are bad times. You know your way about the harbor, don't you? Sure thing. Why? He simply talks too much. What kind of rumors are floating about? That's not what Around here, we don't like people who ask too many questions. Go away, don't Especially tell me that. not if they're strangers. Now that's typical. Well, really not my Why don't I see any militia? That's they don't the dare come in here. We take care of things ourselves. All day too. Not what I heard. Honestly, I wouldn't How's the shipping traffic? Really, how the only ship that's come here recently is the Paladin it's ship. It's over there, behind the rocky yeah. ridge to the southwest. Who says like that? You have known that. But that's terrible. Now that's typical. Do you really it? believe that? That's not what I heard. Really, how interesting. You already know what I think. That's been known a long time. Is it true that some townspeople have simply vanished? So I've heard. But I'm not sure whether it's really true. That's been known a long time. Just look around you. Does this rat hole look like the place where you want to spend your golden years? <laughs> Small wonder that people are getting themselves out of here. What are you doing here? My name is Brahim. I draw maps and sell them. Since you're new here, maybe you could use a map of the city? It's quite affordable and very useful until you know your way around. Show me your maps. You hardly know who to believe these days. You already know what I think. I'm no better off myself. Come back again later. I I'm sure to have something new for you then. He never would have thought of that himself. Hey! Oh, hi, you landlubber. Looks like you're stranded here. You look a bit pale around the gills. Never mind, my lad. All you need is a good stiff sea breeze. What are you doing here? Back when I was a young man, I went to sea and rode through many a big storm. You should have known that. That doesn't surprise me. As if I didn't No big deal, not at all. But that old tower came closest to what I call a home. I haven't been up there in ages. Why not? Ever since these scallywags took over my lighthouse, I haven't dared get closer to it than 20 feet. Really bad rabble, that. They're criminals from the Valley of Mind, you know. There was this big bang on the other side of the mountains, and they swarmed all over the land like flies. Now they're hiding out everywhere, even in my lighthouse. I think they're on the lookout for any ship they can raid. 
Ah, let him. Then at least he'd be out of my tower. You don't have to ask me. Do you come to town often? I always say a town is only as good as its harbor. A harbor is the gate to the world. That's where everyone meets and where everything starts. Once the harbor goes to the dogs, the rest of the city will follow soon. Tell me about the harbor. The harbor of Corinus isn't what it used to be. There's nothing but riffraff hanging about. The ships don't come anymore, and trade is dead. This harbor is about to go under. So why don't you leave? Nobody would take an old sea dog like me on his ship these days. Most people think that old Jack's got the gout in his rotten old bones. And are they right? Balderdash. Once I've got those planks beneath me feet again, I'll feel like a young whippersnapper. Let's wait and see what happens. What do you mean by riffraff? Look at them, the lazy rabble. Most of them don't even know what work is. All they do is drink all day and spend their last pay at the brothel. I tell you, stay away from them. Why are the ships no longer coming? They all say that once the war is over, everything will be like it used to be. That's a load of bilge water. I tell you, a sailor can see when a town's going downhill. A sailor feels that in his blood. And I can tell you, forget about this harbor. It's heyday's over. He should have known that. Will it ever change? Hey! What are you doing here? I'm building a ship because I want to get out of here as fast as I can. But the way it looks right now, this ship will never be finished. Why can't you finish your ship? Oh, we have thousands of problems. The hull still isn't stable, and it's still missing a lot of boards. But I have hardly any gold left to buy new material with, and the last delivery had bugs in it. My boys don't work productively. One wants a fast ship above all else, the other one is worried about the figurehead. As if we didn't have more important things to do. Also, one of my people is simply not showing up for work anymore. I'm beginning to fear that this will delay the construction even more. Why are you in such a hurry? Soon the orcs will come and burn down the city. What makes you think that? Tell me you didn't know that? Boy, have you noticed the paladins running around everywhere? Why do you think they're here? I tell you, they're here because the orcs will attack soon, and that won't be pretty. I could have told you that. Can I help you somehow? Yes, you can. Find out what the paladins are planning. I want to know why they're here. And I have to know if the orcs will attack, and how far from the city they are. One of the bastards was even seen outside the city. Just bring me all the information you can get. I need to know how much time I have left to finish the boat. As if I didn't have enough. I've got some information about the orcs. Let's hear it. They're stuck in the Valley of Mines, and it looks like they're going to stay there. To be on the safe side, the paladins are guarding the pass. Good. If you find out more, let me know. As if I didn't have enough problems. As to that orc outside of town? Yes. Don't worry about him. The city guard is going to take care of him. Good. If you find out more, let me know. Don't tell me you didn't know that. What's going on at the harbor? The orcs are breathing down our necks and you're asking about the harbor? I only wanted to... The biggest problem we have is that there aren't enough ships in the harbor to get us out of here. To be honest, there's only one ship here, and that belongs to the Paladins. They certainly won't let us get out of here with that. No better off myself. Anything's possible. You're one worker short? Yes. His name is Monty. He's vanished into thin air. That lazy totally pig obvious. is probably living the high life on a farm somewhere. I should know. never have paid him in advance. Some problems solve themselves. I've heard that other people have gone missing too. Just what I'm long. saying. That's where the evil starts. I don't want to hear that. Farum, the fisherman, told me something similar. His buddy I William is no longer around. I bet that the orcs are that. behind all this. You listen to the wrong people. Nothing's ever going to change that.
Hey, you got no business here, understand? Who are you? That's none of your business. I'm the boss here, okay? The boss of what? Of those chests? Hey, the storeroom was under my supervision, got it? So piss off, or else I'll bash in your skull. Hey, you! What's new? I wonder why the Paladins are here at all. They're holding the town hall, the barracks, and the harbor, but they haven't actually done anything so far. If they were here about the orcs or the bandits, they would have done something ages ago. There must be another reason. What are the most interesting places here in Corinus? <laughs> Maybe you better ask that of a man. If it's entertainment you want, try the harbor. But if you want to buy something, go to the marketplace at the east gate or to the lower part of town. Who are the most important figures in this town? Since the Paladins came here, they have taken over control of the entire city. Lord Andre represents the law. You will find him in the barracks. But you only need to go to him if you've trespassed against the law or to join the militia. What do I have to do to become a citizen of this town? The master craftsmen in the lower part of town have great influence here in Corinus. You should go talk to one of them. What can you tell me about this area? You are now in the Harbor District. Where do you want to go? Thanks, that's all I wanted to know. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Martial Boy, that lunatic's hammering is wearing me down. Who are you talking about? Can't you hear that hammering? Who do you think hammers all day long at the Harbor District? I mean that lunatic felon. He takes the hammer to his hut every day. Or act of resistance against the King's guards. I could take care of felon. You want to help me? What's in it for you? You tell me. Oh, that's how it is. All right, if you can get him to stop hammering, I'll pay you 25 gold pieces. But I'll tell you one thing right now. You can't talk to the guy. He's nuts. The only thing that will help is a few decent punches. If I beat him up, I'll just get into trouble with the militia. Down here at the harbor, no one pays much attention to brawls. But if you steal around here, or mess with the sheep, you'll be in trouble. I'll see what I can do. You can think about it. Remember, I'll pay you 25 gold coins. Are those your sheep? The only one that belongs to me is the one that answers to the name of Lucy. Ha ha ha! That's my wife, Lucy. Their sheep belong to the militia. All the sheep they collect from the farmers, they bring to me. Hey, you! That's what I've always said. Why are you hammering? For days now, I've been desperately trying to fix the leaks in my house. The rafters have been crumbling away ever since we had those rainfalls recently. Soon everything's gonna come down around my ears. Hey, you! Could you stop hammering? No. I have to finish this. Just quit hammering, okay? Just try not to bug me too much, okay? I'll give you ten gold pieces if you stop that hammering. Hey, that's very generous of you. But as to your gold, you can... Well, you know what you can do with it. Stop that hammering or I'll break every bone in your body. Forget it, or I'll knock some sense into your head with my hammer. That's terrible. Uh. That's terrible. That's not what my husband thinks. That's not what I heard. That's an open secret. 
secret. He simply talks to you much. I want to fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Just a second. Take your time. I'm starting now. Ah, and now. Finish yeah, him. That's the ticket. Ah, yeah, that's that's now. the ticket. Oh. Not bad at all. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Do you don't say. Hey, you! Okay, so you beat me. Some heroic deed that was. Will you stop hammering now, or do I have to thrash you again? No, don't hit me anymore. I'll stop. But if everything collapses around here, it'll be your fault. That's not what my husband thinks. And it's gonna get even worse. Felon will hammer no longer. Hear that? No more hammering. At last, I thought the fellow would never quit. You've done me a huge favor. You know what? I'll give you 30 gold pieces. Oh, man. You pack quite a punch. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You've earned them. And one more thing. No one talks about what goes on behind the warehouse. The militia puts everyone who does the slightest thing here behind bars. And those boys don't like to see betting on fights. Can you train me? I keep my word. I'll teach you everything I know, provided you have the necessary experience. I want to fight against you. Nah, nah. Before I go up against you again, I need a better weapon. I had to sell my sword a few days ago. With that, baby, I'm unbeatable. If you get it back for me, I'll take you on again. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the like following that? decree is hereby enacted. The That's security really measures for the protection of the upper quarter will be further strengthened. These are bad times. The guards on the gates are ordered to interpret the law in That's the strictest sense in order to prevent unauthorized entry. You don't say. I'm not telling you anything new. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. I'd have gone about it differently. That's not what I heard. I'm not telling you anything new. I won't tell her a thing from now on. Do you really believe that? I can't take care of everything for everybody. Nobody will learn say. anything from me. I will never choose. You don't, don't say. Don't talk about it. And it's going to get even worse. These are bad times. I never knew that. Is it really true? Everybody knows by now. I'm no better off myself. Who says things like that? It's not what I heard. Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... 
You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again! I should turn you into the militia. What else do you want? I've got nothing left. Let me go, man! Why would I want to do that? In the city, it's always good to know the right people and to stay on their good side. I could put in a good word for you. I, I can't and won't say more. The rest is up to you. I'll see to it that you are put behind bars. Oh, I don't want any more trouble. If you think that's what you should do, then be my guest. Hey, be careful, though. My friends are not gonna like what you're pulling here. I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Nagura has killed Baltram's messenger. He tried to use me as his new messenger in order to intercept Akil's shipment. That fellow will get his just punishment. I shall have him locked up immediately. Here, take the bounty that you are entitled to. I... Rengaru stole from the merchant Jora. He tried to skedaddle, but I caught him. Good. My men have already picked him up. He won't be stealing from anyone else in the near future. Here is your money. Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. All civilian judges are to hand over their duties to the royal paladins, effective immediately. Why are you looking so doubtful? I see that you bear the sign of the Ring of Water. So, are you a member too? What if I am? Then I would tell you that Lares wants to be relieved from his post down at the harbor. Fine, if that's so, I'll see to it that somebody deals with it. I see. Don't tell this to anyone. Show me your wares. You don't say. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Really? How interesting. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. I don't believe it. Show that. me your wares. Take your pick. Everybody knows by now. These are bad times. Everybody knows by now. These are bad. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Everybody knows by now. That's not what I heard. Who says things like that? About the thief. Yes, how's it going? That's have you caught him? Is. And much more importantly, do you have my gold? Now that's typical, isn't it? Yeah, I caught him all right. He's going to cool his heels in jail for a while. What about my gold? He can't keep anything to himself. Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. Inos, be praised. There is still justice in the city. He simply talks too much. I want part of the gold as a reward. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty from Lord Andre. Now, I must get back to my customers. I haven't seen it with my own eyes. What do you know about the Thieves' Guild? Right, listen up. You haven't heard anything of what I'm about to tell you from me, capiche? There are shady characters who frequent the Dockside Inn. I bet the landlord knows a thing or two. If you're planning to track down the thieves, you should go talk to him. You could act like you're up to something crooked, for example, 
Maybe he'll fall for it, but be very careful. These people are not to be trifled with. Alric says you got his sword. Do you mean that ragged fellow who traded his weapon to me for a few torches and chunks of meat? That's him. I still have the sword. How much do you want for it? Well, for you... Ah, so what? Here, take it. After all, you did help me get my gold back. That's an open secret. Now that's typical, isn't it? Go away. Don't tell me that. Honestly, I would risk it myself. No sense. And Enos, in his wisdom, did so. Valentino was unable to pay his bar tab last night. He was blathering something about having been robbed and paying me later, obviously. Really? And what did you do? Well, I, I gave him a good thrashing. What else? Here, take this ring. What? Oh, I don't understand. It used to belong to Valentino. You're welcome to pass it on to the next person who tans his hide. And Enos, in his wisdom, did so. That's all just gossip. These are bad times. Here's your money back. Wonderful. Nice doing business with you. That's not what I heard. I'm not telling you anything new. Can I borrow some more money from you? No more now. I just had a big outlay and I need every coin. Come back in a few days. Don't tell me you didn't know that. He'd better shut up. There's nothing you can do about it. What led you into this poor area? What are you looking for here? I've lost my way. Then watch out that you aren't robbed. It would seem that we have a few thieves in the city who would steal stuff from the rich people. The city guard recently turned the harbor district upside down, but they didn't find anything. What do you know about the thieves? Nothing, but all the citizens are scared and have become distrustful particularly towards strangers. Don't get caught in strange houses. No one takes kindly to that. Yeah, you gotta protect yourself against thieves. A sturdy cudgel works best. Can you teach me anything? Oh, I'm forging a few fittings and nails and repairing iron pots. But I don't know enough about forging weapons to be able to instruct you. If you wanna learn that, go see Harrod. He sure knows how to forge weapons. But if you want to train your muscles a bit, well, I can help you with that. How much do you charge for the training? 50 gold pieces, and I'll help you to become stronger. Show me your wares. all day too but no he insisted he knew better hmm. that doesn't surprise me who to believe these days and it's going to get who says nice. things like that he doesn't see that i can't help him and it's going to get even worse there's nothing you can do about it 
I've got your sword. Ah, that's much better than fighting with an old stick. I want to fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Come here. Then let's see what you can do. It was a good fight. Your stake is gone, but don't make too much of it. It was for a good cause. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself accordingly. Everyone is to begin training in the skills of combat immediately and to arm himself appropriately. really not my problem. I'm no better off myself. He should have known that. Hey, you! I'm not telling you anything new. I have talked to Baltram. That's he will find I someone have. to relieve you. Ah. Very good. Then we can finally leave here. You had better keep my aquamarine ring for now. I assume it will come in handy for you until you get your own. There have been all kinds of rumors. That's all just gossip. Nothing's ever going to change that. That's been known a long time. You have to feel sorry for the poor. Nothing surprises me anymore. He simply talks too much. That's really not my problem. It's a bad business. Halt! No one may enter the storeroom! Why can't anyone enter the storeroom? The Honorable Lord Hagen has confiscated the goods for the King's army. Really a problem. You hardly know who to believe these days. Where did you pick that up? It's really not my problem. I don't believe this is going to change. That's been known a long time. been known a long time. Don't tell me you didn't know that. I don't believe this is Where did you pick that up?
Adonis saw that this way, nothing could exist at all. No light and no darkness. Looking for a job? Sure. What's it about? My errand boy hasn't come back. You don't say. And I'm waiting for a delivery from the farmer Akio. And how much is it worth to you? Everybody. I'll give you 50 gold pieces. That's not what my husband Fine, thinks. I'm in. Okay. Just tell Akio that I you sent you. Say. He'll give you a package. Bring it to me. Who says things like that? Where can I find Akil's farm? Just go out here through the east gate and follow the path to the southeast. After a short while, you'll come to a stone stairway. Really? How interesting. Go up that, and from there, you'll already be able to see Akil's farm. Okay too. He simply talks too much. Don't tell this to anyone. He can't keep anything to himself. Hey, hey, not so fast. Strolling about alone out here is dangerous. Where do you come from? From the city. Well, well. Then what are you doing wandering around out here, so far from the protective walls of the city? What's so dangerous out here? Many things. For one thing, there's the bandits. They'd polish off a little wimp like you for breakfast. If the bandits don't catch you, then the wild animals in the forest or the mercenaries roaming around will take care of you. So first get yourself some decent armor before you go out. I bet you'll be yelling for my help after the next bend in the road. Just assuming I would fall back on your help, uh, how much would that cost me? I am merely a humble servant of the king and would not enjoy fleecing a helpless little citizen of the realm. But you know, if you put it like that, I wouldn't object to a little financial backing to promote our future business relationship. Ten gold coins should do for starters. What do you think? Why not? Here's your ten coins. Terrific. If you need my help, you know where to find me. But please do me a favor. Don't come to me with any trifles. I can't stand that, you hear? Monster right. around. So much for you, filthy beast. Nothing there.
Here's another of those scummy beasts. Yes! Run as fast as you can! What do you want? I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. I didn't think you could do it. I'm impressed. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? You're a good man. I'll give you my approval. Brian will still be here for a while, and a strong lad to take his place will turn up in time. Nadanos was pleased with what had arisen. He delighted in all the beings equally. About the plants. If you cannot handle that by yourself, you won't be any good as an alchemist either. I've got all the plants I was supposed to bring you. What? You're pulling my leg, right? By Adonos. It's all there, all right. Who knows? Maybe someday you could make a decent alchemist after all. I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You? Hmm. so that he might undo the work of Beliar. And Beliar spoke to another creature. Hey, you! Bosper said you used to work for him. Yes, I did, but he was only interested in his blasted hides. I told him how dangerous it's gotten out there. He didn't really listen to me. Well, anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. Can you tell me anything else about him? <laughs> Bosper had one of his bows stolen recently in broad daylight. Some guy just waltzed into his store, took a bow, and left. The thieves are getting more and more brazen. Why don't we go hunting together? Hmm. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? 
I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Busper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? Here they are. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find more than enough critters. Probably more than we like. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Adonis feared for the day in which the beast would return to the land. Nobody will learn anything from And me. so he bade Enos to leave a He really didn't deserve that. Nothing surprises me anymore. Just like you said. But no, your sister knew better. With it, the trees and animals were also washed away, and a deep sadness overcame Adonis. Teach me how to pick a lock. All you need is a lock pick. If you move it carefully left and right in the lock, you can unbolt the mechanism. But if you move it too much or too fast in the wrong direction, it will snap right off. The more adept you become, the fewer lockpicks you are going to need. That's all there is to it, really. Can you sell me some lockpicks? If I have any left. I've got a new tobacco blend. Let me try your tobacco. This tastes incredible. 
I've never had a better smoke in my life. How did you prepare this blend? I mixed the tobacco with honey. You have done well, father of the art of blending. I would be delighted to fill my miserable pipes with this. Fill her up, then. Thank you, son of generosity. No other blend could be as good as this one. I shall buy every bit you can bring me of this. Ah, customer, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a room. Ah, you're in the right place then. One of the paladins told me that I could spend the night here for free. Yes, yes. Just go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. Why do the paladins pay for everything? I don't know what that's all about either. For one thing, I think they want to get all the poor suckers off the streets so they don't make any mischief. And for another, they want to get on the good side of the traveling traders. Now that the farmers are rebelling, we have to rely on the traders for provisions. Besides, I think they want to improve the morale in the city a bit. Lord Andre has even arranged for free beer to be given out at the Gala Square. Who's staying here at the moment? Almost all of them are traveling traders from the market. Aha! Don't even think about messing with their stuff. I don't want any trouble here. I have a few questions about the city. Tell me about the town. Corinus is one of the wealthiest cities within the kingdom, even if it doesn't look like it at the moment. But since the Orc War started, trade has almost come to a complete standstill. The king has requisitioned the entire merchant fleet for military service, which means that hardly any ships come into the harbor now. So, the supply of goods is very scarce now, and many citizens of the town are very worried. Nobody really knows what the future will bring. There's basically nothing we can do but wait and see what happens. It's not like we can change anything. Where can I buy something around here? The market is directly in front of the door. You should be able to find everything there. There are a few more shops and craftsmen on the other side of town. Most of them are near the other city gate. Also, there's a fishmonger in the harbor district. His shop is right at the harbor. He's easy to find. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself to be But with it, the trees and animals were also washed away, and a deep sadness overcame them. the first I've heard of it. I hardly know what to believe anymore. As if I didn't have enough problems. Why haven't I heard about this before? Nobody ever asked for my opinion. I knew that would be a problem. 
You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. Any response to you? You knew that would be a problem. I'm not That's telling you anything new. It. The path of virtue is long and rocky. But he knew that all along. What are you creeping around there for?
What with?
Hey, no you! What are you doing there? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, it's none of your business. Get lost. Martin will be so happy when I tell him who's been rummaging through his belongings while he's gone. Well, you do whatever you want. I'll be on my way then, uh, little man. I caught the thief. It's Rangar who is poking through your stocks. Well, finally. At least now I know I have to keep an eye on. The bastard. There'll be one heck of a dust-up if I catch him at it. I've always wondered why none of the paladins saw anything. And? Why? It's obvious. The idiots can't tell those of us in the militia apart from one another. To them, we all look alike. That was good work, mate. If I can do anything for you, just say the word. You know what I want from you. Oh yeah, you want to join the militia, right? You've already proven your abilities to me. Well, let me put it this way, I'd rather know you're on our side than on someone else's. That's why I'll help you. Take this letter of recommendation from me and show it to Andre, our paladin commander. You'll find him in the barracks, I'm sure he can use you. Nothing there.
should have known that. I'm in enough trouble as it is. As if I didn't have enough problems. Got my own opinion about that. Who said that? What do you want here? Go! Smart kid. The things I could tell you. It can't go on like this forever. That's the first time he ever asked me. There have been all kinds Don't of Don't say you didn't know that. It can't go on like this forever. Some problems solve themselves. says things like that. But no, he insists that he knew better. That's really not my problem. He can't do anything about it. He never would have thought... He would have never thought of that himself. He doesn't see that. I can't help it. Don't tell me you didn't know that. That was obvious all along. That's not what I heard. I'd have gone about it differently. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. But no, he insists that he knew better. That's been known a long time.
something we can do about it. Oh, okay, buddy. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. Wait and see what happens. Why haven't I heard about this before? I hardly know what to believe anymore. I'm not touching. I don't want to hear that. There you are at last. I've been waiting here for hours. Just a moment. You're not a merchant from town, are you? Where is Baltram? Who are you? I don't see how that's any of your business. But if you must know, my name is Skip. Does that ring a bell? Who? Are you telling me you've never heard of Skip? Holy shit! Where do you live? I'm one of Corinus's most wanted criminals. Me and my boys have been the scourge of the waters around this crummy island for years. Come on, you must have heard of me. Should I know you? Mind that mouth of yours, lad. Or old Skip will give you what for. Where do you come from? You want to know where our hideout is? If I tell you that, I might as well invite the militia to arrest me. And, in case you would like to pay us a visit, uh, it wouldn't help you in the least. The island of Corinus is large, and no one ever gets to where we are anyway, unless they have a cog or some other ship. And then you'd have to find your way through the cliffs as well. Nobody gets through there, unless they know the secret path. There are only two people who know the path. And you're not one of them. A lot of citizens are missing, and everything seems to indicate that you're not quite innocent in the matter. Uh, damn it. It's not what you think it is. Do I look like a slave trader to you? No, I only transport goods. What they are, and where they come from, is no concern of mine. We have shipped all kinds of things for those swine. First, it was just regular stuff. Well, sometimes it may have been contraband. But then they started to kidnap the inhabitants of the city. No idea what they're planning to do with them. All we did was ferry them across. Who are you talking about? The bandits, of course. Who else? The filthy scum who are making themselves at home all over the island. And not just here, around Corinus. Just bandits isn't good enough for me. I want a name. A name? You want to know who's leading the bandits? Damn it! What was that bastard's name again? Hmm. I just can't recall his name. Even if it wasn't all that complicated. But I can show you where to find the boss of the gang in this part of Corinus. Have you got a decent map? Here. I've got a map of Corinus. That's good. Uh, let me draw in the hideout of this fellow. I remember his name now. Dexter. Yes, I think they called him Dexter. 
Here's your map. Where did you take those people? I already told you. I'm not going to tell you where our bay is. Baltram, you're waiting for a merchant? Smart kid, aren't you? That's what I just said, isn't it? Uh, that good-for-nothing junk merchant seems to have forgotten me. If only I could get my hands on him. Where did you take those? I already took. 